bar charts are one of the best visuals for comparison. But when they're used wrongly, they can become difficult to read and difficult to understand, which will lead to users just leaving your report. Today, I'm going to show you the version that I used and my users love. So, let's get to it. First, we want to declutter this visual. So, we will remove the information for the previous year and the legend as we don't need it anymore. Now, in order to make this a comparison visual, we need to add information about the previous period. One way of doing that is using the year-over-year -year growth percentage, which can show if it was positive or negative. And in order to show that on our visual, we will add the small space to the left of the visual. So we will have the year-over-year -year growth percentage, and then we will have the sales value for the current year. And to do that, we need to do two things. First, we need to change the visual from a clustered bar chart to a stacked bar chart. And next, we need a dummy measure to introduce to the left of the visual. The dummy measure can be as simple as a simple value. Let's add this to our visual. Now we've added our dummy measure to the left of the sales. But this messed the sorting, so we need to sort that one out. Sort axis and sort by current year. Now, of course, you will see there is no information saying if we perform better or worse than last year. So for that, we can use the data labels. Turn on the data labels, select the dummy left series, and in the value, instead of the dummy left measure, we will select the year over year label. Perfect, and it's exactly what we wanted. Next thing that we might want to do is change the color of it, and we will use a measure that I've already explained in one of my other videos, this is a conditional formatting measure that returns green color for when the year-over-year -year growth percentage is positive and red color when the year-over-year -year growth percentage is negative. I'll put a link in the description box below to that video. Now there is a downside when it comes to use a measure like this with a set value. Given that the x-axis value is dynamic, every time you change a year, the dummy measure represents a different percentage of the total value. So, what can we do to do that? Well, we can set the maximum value of the x-axis. In order to do that, in our example here, we need to calculate which sector had the highest value in sales. And to do that, we will use a measure that looks very much like this. We calculate the maximum value for the industry sector dimension using the total sales for the current year, where we remove all the filters from the industry sector name. And then, in order to create some space for our dummy in the left, I'll multiply this by 2.1. Select the visual. In the x-axis, we will set the maximum to be a field value, and we will select the measure that we just created. Now, of course, there are no changes because the dummy measure still looks the same, but we can change it to be a percentage of the whole value that we've just calculated. And the measure will look like this, the maximum value that we've calculated before, and we'll multiply that by 0.25, making it a quarter of the total. Let's replace the dummy left with the other measure, and we can see a change. Now, if we go back to 2023, we see that the dummy measure maintains the same aspect ratio. And of course, since we've changed the measure, we need to change the data label again. So, head down to data labels, select the dummy industry sector measure, and in the value in the field, instead of the same measure, we will select the label for the year-over-year -year growth percentage. Perfect. And now let's change the color again field value, conditional formatting, color. Perfect. Now, of course, that blue is not exactly what we want and it does not look good with the rest of the visual. So what we can do is change that color. We go to bars with the dummy industry sector left selected, set the transparency to 100. Already looks good, but there is one thing missing and that is the value of the sales for the current year. We could turn on the data labels for the current year series. So, oh, let's close the bars. Let's select current year. And, oh, 
we do have it, it's just not showing. So what can we do? In this case, we can do exactly what we've done with the dummy measure on the left hand side by adding another one on the right hand side with the same type of measure. It's just a name that is different. Let's add this other measure to the visual. Now we can see the other measure has the same year over year growth percentage and we don't want that. So select the dummy industry sector right, go to value and instead of that field we will select the total sales measure. Turn the color to black and again change the color of the bar, well not the color but the transparency needs to be set to 100. See, it looks a lot better. But on closer inspection on the bottom side of the visual, there is something that no longer serves its purpose. And that is the x-axis values. Because now basically they're showing the sales times two. So select the visual in the x-axis, turn the values off. And one thing that I like to change every time, just to increase the white space and make the visual look a bit better and be easier to read, is to change the layout and increase the space between series. So you need to go to bars, select all, and in the layout, let's say we will go with 50%. Excellent, looks a lot better, a lot easier to read. Now, of course, you could play with the colors and let's say for the title, we will choose a different background. Let's go with the color that I like very much. And then we will change the divider to a red color, for example, make it stand out. And then we will go to bars, we will select the current year and we will use the same color that we used as a background for our title. Now that we've done that, we can see that our year over year label is shown over the industry sector sales for the year. So let's head down to data labels, select the current year and deselect show for this series. Perfect. You would say this is done, but it's not. Here's what I mean. When you hover over any of the series, you will have the tooltips. But when you go on the dummy industry sector left or right, it will show a value that we're not interested in. So what can you do? Because if you go to properties and turn the tooltips off, it will turn them off for all series. So we don't want that. We still need tooltips. Let's turn them back on. One solution that I came up with, and it's very simple, is to create yourself a tooltip page, just like this one, that contains sales for the current year, sales for the previous year, and year over year growth percentage. And then one thing that you need to do in the page information, you have this area right here where it says show tooltip on. And you will need to drag your dummy left, your dummy right and your current year sales measure. Now let's head back to our visual, select it in properties, tooltips, instead of default, you need to choose report page and instead of auto, you need to choose tooltips or the name of the tooltip page that you've given. And now when you hover over them, you will see that tooltip page showing up and change for every single series. This is a way of transforming a very basic bar chart into something that is more modern, easier to read, easier to understand and filled with the information. This is one of the many visuals that I've transformed over times. I've transformed KPI cars to have a spark line. I've transformed the way I show if we've hit or not the target. I've transformed the light chart. And all of these are in this playlist right here called Power BI Designs. This is Stadium signing off. Until next time, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, drop a comment. See you next time. Cheerio!